Hi, my name is Manny. I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Kebecha. I want to speak to you this morning about the spirit of hearing. Now, I want to put it to you that there's two levels at very least of hearing. Listen to this. 1 Samuel, and I'm going to read a few scriptures. 1 Samuel 17 verse 16 says, For 40 days the Philistine, this is Goliath, came forward and took his stand morning and evening. For 40 days, the word of God tells us, Goliath came and he began to hurl insults and began to intimidate the people morning and evening. Let's hear what else, what, goes, what happens. Then in verse 23 of the same chapter, 1 Samuel 17, it says, and he talked with them, right? So what happened was, they, Goliath was intimidating them and, and the people and, and the children of Israel. So the Philistines were on one mountain, the Israelites were on the other mountain, and there was a valley in the middle that, that was sort of the, the poised to be the, the battlefield. And so, so at this point, uh, at home, David's father packs up some stuff for, the, for, for his sons and says to David, take this stuff out to the battle for your, for, your, for your brothers so that they can have something to eat. Because remember, this is now 40 days that Goliath is just barraging them with all these insults. So he takes the stuff out and then the Bible says in verse 23, that at this point, David comes, he drops the stuff off with his brothers and with, 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 the, um, with, the, with the, 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 the person that's supposed to look after all the, the, the resources coming in for the soldiers. So he drops it off and as he's walking away, he hears this. So the Bible says, as he talked with them, behold, the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, came up out of the ranks of the Philistines and spoke the same words as before. And David heard him. So right now, the Philistine had been intimidating the children of Israel and they heard his words for 40 days, the Bible says, morning and evening. So in other words, they had at least 80 intimidation sessions. Here David comes and he hears the exact same things that the children of Israel, the, the army of Israel had been hearing. But I want to tell you this three little things quickly. Number one, just like Caleb and Joshua, David had a different spirit. David heard something different. They both heard on the first level, the intimidation of Goliath, the army of Israel as well as David, but David heard a different thing. And so, and, and then secondly, um, so, so, so basically they all heard this thing, everything that was said by Goliath on one level, but David heard on a different level. Listen what, what the Bible says. Uh, the, the children, the, the army of Israel says this, and these are all men. David was a little boy. Um, uh, the, army, the Bible says, all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were so afraid. And the man of Israel, and the men of Israel said, have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he, he has come up to defy Israel. This starts to sound very familiar, like when the spies went out and the 10 spies spoke one story and Caleb and Joshua spoke a different story. Then listen what David, what David says, verse 26, 25 to 26, um, uh, it says, uh, um, and the men of Israel said, have you seen this man who's come up? Surely he's come to defy the children of Israel and the king will enrich the man who kills him. Great riches will be given to him. His daughter will be given to him and his father's house will be free in Israel. Listen what David said. And David said to the men who stood by him, what shall be done for the man who kills the Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? David heard the exact same things that the children of Israel heard, yet David's response was so different. The, the armies of Israel trained men all said, surely he has come up to defy Israel. Surely he has come up to defy Israel. They were saying, surely. In other words, it's as though the battle was over. Technically, in their heads and in their hearts, the battle was over. That's why they used the word, surely. And here was David saying, wait, hang on, hang on. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? 
He called himself the champion. Um, they called himself, the, uh, they called him this mighty giant and, and they were so intimidated. And he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? I want to encourage you this morning. Make certain that when the enemy comes to intimidate you and try to break you down for the battle, that you know exactly who's coming after you. Because sometimes we get into a, 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 a giant fright or a giant fear over a little pipsqueak. <laughs> it was Pastor Jimmy's favorite word. Over a little pipsqueak, we would get into a giant fear. No, no, no. Even the Bible tells us, give due where due is, where, where, what, where it is due, basically. Uh, point is that I'm saying is that if it is a little lizard, you can't run away as though it's an alligator. And I want to say to you this morning, understand that when the giant comes to intimidate you, don't listen on the first level. Listen with your spirit. Let the spirit of hearing come up on the inside of you so that you know what's in front of you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by your Holy Spirit every ear listening now, O oh God, that they would not just hear as everyone else hears, O oh God, but they would hear as your spirit would have them hear. So in the midst of the battle, when things seem like it's the end, O oh God, they will still rise up because they will hear what your spirit is saying. In Jesus' name, amen.